so here I am again with my completed body. Uh, I've been uh, cutting the channel and installing those bindings all around the bodies, uh, top and bottom. Uh, turned out pretty good again. Uh, really, really happy about uh, about this, uh, this kind of final step for the body because uh, I will obviously be working on the body again later uh, for finishing and sending everything correctly. But uh, as of building it, it is uh, almost finished. I will need to, of course, attach the bridge later and attach the, the neck. But the body itself itself is completed. Uh, this step was uh, was a fun one, a scary one too. Like I said earlier, uh, using the rudder on the uh, on the body at this point is uh, is really scary because you don't want to to obviously mess up after uh, well over a hundred hours uh, of work for those two uh, guitar bodies. Uh, but turned out pretty good. Uh, so if you want to see more about my uh, my binding jig, uh, check out my other video when I explain a little bit more how I used it. Uh, I did make this other uh, tool more than jig uh, in this one, which is uh, just a, a way of holding this uh, this drum sander while I use it with the with the drill like that. So this allowed me to. Uh, to help clean the sides after gluing the, the bindings, like you've seen me using, uh, I used CA glue to, uh, to attach the binding after, uh, after using a lot of uh, tape to tape the binding correctly all around. Uh, and by the way, I use this, uh, it's over there, the, this orange tape, which is uh, basically just masking tape. I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff. Uh, this was cheap, so I did go on and order this uh, specific binding tape but uh, pretty sure you could use uh, about uh, any standard masking tape, green or blue, depending on where you're from. So, uh, but th this one worked, worked way, well. I was, uh, I did order it because I was a little afraid of a tear out on the, on the, on the surface, uh, but it did not happen. So I used CA glue uh, and of course CA glue does a little mess. So I had to, to sand everything uh, clean uh, bottom and front was not too bad with the with the with the orbital sander, but for the side, uh, I did use that. Uh, it turned out to be a little less useful than I hoped for. Uh, it it is actually pretty useful, and I think I will use this uh, this contraption actually for for many other projects uh, around the shop. But for the sides, it was a little too aggressive to my liking. Uh, I did use it anyway to help. Uh, uh, specifically in those uh, in those places, this round part here and the waist, both guitars. But uh, I did try to uh, use the orbital sander a little bit too, and mostly by hand because uh, I didn't want to uh, to uh, ruin the, the sides and also the the, the plastic bindings themselves. I think that because I'm using plastic binding, this uh, turned out to be less useful than it would have been. Uh, if I used uh, wood binding, because it would actually have been uh, all wood. So uh, that's about it. Like I keep seeing, I've used uh, this uh, pretty basic uh, vise here with little uh, cork sticking sheet, uh, sticky sheet that I use on this piece of plywood. I put one on so uh, on my workbench here and just use some clamps to to help uh, clamp the body. Uh, really, really basic, but uh, it worked out pretty good. It was uh, just a way of holding the guitars while I send it. So, uh, again, both of my body is finished. Uh, my next step will finally be about uh, working on the necks. So, I will probably be making the, the neck blanks on my next video. So, in the meantime, here are my finished bodies. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when I post a new video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.